Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habitu fillah Ad-duwam ala dhikrillah The continual, consistent remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala It secures the safety of the tongue and the tongue often for us is a cause of our stress in our lives and enmity towards others for in the nisyan rub yujib nisyan nafsuhu wa masalihaha and to forget one's Lord necessitates forgetting oneself and what is beneficial for oneself. Think about that statement. That forgetting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it necessitates forgetting yourself and what's beneficial for you. Because if you don't fear a law, you'll say anything. You'll use your tongue for anything, to speak about wickedness. There won't be any restraint. You won't fear a law, so you'll have no shame. You'll have no shame in your speech. You'll have no shame in what you articulate. You can easily backbite. You can easily curse. You can easily slander. That's because you don't remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your tongue. But the one who remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with their heart and with their tongue, <coughs> then they are exercising through that remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are remembering themselves. They are remembering their own souls because they're remembering that which is beneficial for them. Because the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most beneficial thing that you could do in this life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fikitab al Kareem, Wala tukunu kelladina nasu laha fansahum and fusum and fusum. Ulaika humul fasakun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fikitab al Kareem, and do not be like those who forgot Allah. And so he made them forget their selves. Verily, those are the fasakun. Those are the wicked ones. So I hope that's clear that by forgetting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that means you have no, you will be exercising very little or no taqwa on your tongue. You know, you will not be prohibiting yourself restraining your speech from that which has no benefit, but rather you will indulge in it. And this is in turn, because you've forgotten Allah, then Allah makes you forget yourself, meaning forget those beneficial things for you in this dunya. And then that in turn makes you of those individuals who fall under that ayat. Do not be like those who forgot Allah. And so he made them forget themselves. Verily they are the fasakun, the wicked uh, wicked oppressors. They oppress themselves. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless the beef of those who remember him often. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.